Welcome to my Sundays, fun days, always finding ways to create. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Today we are going to, I don't know what we're going to do. We're just going to have some fun and draw for an hour. We're only going to be on for an hour because I do need to get back to work. I have a lot of painting I'm still doing. And uh, maybe I go live with that. I'm going to set the camera correctly. But uh, welcome everybody. How's everybody doing? It's your Urban Art as always. <laughs> Urban Fun right here. That's right, Urban Art AF. Let's go into our, let me get on screen here. Let's get comfortable here, guys. How are we doing? <laughs> Okay, I don't know what I'm going to be drawing today. I decided just to, I was working on uh, the backgrounds of this uh, commission I'm still working on. So I kind of stopped and paused for a minute. I probably would stop the camera so y'all can see me paint these big ass uh, <laughs> canvases that I got over there um, that I'm working on. But I just wanted to come on and let's do some work. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's give us something. I was drawing and painting, playing with watercolors, so we might finish that up, or maybe we do a T-shirt today. Let's see. Let's get to, let's get to the table. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to the table, and let's read these comments over here. Hold on, I got a comment already. Thank goodness. Let's see what's going. On. Oh, for my boy L, he got his T-shirt. Cool, L got his T-shirt. He wear it. The shirt was super big, guys. That I mounted my. I didn't know his size and. And when I found out he was a, a, a medium, I sent a large. So it's probably, I mean, he's really a small, he said. So the shirt probably like fit him like oversized. So I get why he's wearing it as a night shirt. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's cool. That's cool. Appreciate you. Okay, let's get over to my, uh, my little desk here. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a beautiful weekend. My weekend was very interesting. I just stayed in the house and created all week. Getting some things done. We transit. Okay. How's this, guys? There we go. Here we go. We rocking and rolling now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep my little big head self in the picture for a little minute. Uh, just for a little minute. Uh, as you see, I'm not... I never do this stuff right. That's why. <laughs> okay. Today we're going to be working on, uh, I don't know, this finished play with the watercolors. I never finished this painting that I was doing the other day with uh, Bobby, with our little, uh, to, how do you say, combo? We, we started painting together and everything, which is kind of cool. Our little sessions, that's your Bobby and Tanya sessions. Uh, I was painting this right here. I was playing with the watercolors and just trying to figure out how to, I don't want you to use watercolors like on a, like a steady basis, just plain watercolors. So I'm, I was kind of just testing it out. And this is a little test paper I did here. I drew some cassettes with some little, let me show you a little better than that. There we go. Yeah, I was doing a little bit of New York and a little bit of Vegas. It's a little sketchy. I might actually really like really detail this out and redraw this over. This is just sketches. I was just thinking that thought process, which is kind of cool with the little, I should put wings on it. Oh, oh my goodness. I should put wings on it. Oh my goodness. I got to get a pencil, guys. Hold up, guys. One minute. Hold on. Let me get a pencil. Okay. This is how I come up with stuff. So this is going to be fun. I'm going to take my face off of here because y'all don't need me looking at me. I want you to look at the art. <laughs> And if you'd like to say something, hit me up and respond and let's paint today. Let's rock and roll. Let's see what we make today. You know, I'm on some spontaneous. Okay, guys. Yeah, I know my setup is all the way in front of me, so you don't see my big ass arm going across the screen. <laughs> okay. There we go. Here we go. Okay. Now we're nice and steady. Okay, guys. Let's something today. Oh, I got those tags up there. Uh, oh, well. Y'all can see. 
Okay, guys. So I just thought of something. I'm gonna put some uh, some uh, wings on them. And see how it looks with wings. You know, if they had little wings, that would be kind of like really funky. Let's see. If we put some wings on. Just not that many. Just the little fat little wings that will fly. That's kind of cool. I'll play with this a little more, but kind of like that. Kind of like that. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, I like that. And I can still add the one on this side. Just gotta put a little ink on it and we could just separate it. I kind of like that with the rings. Kind of cool. All right, but we're, we're going to play with that later. Let's start from brand new. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Git. I'm going to get a uh, canvas. Like I said, I've been painting all day, guys, so I don't know where anything's at for sometimes. <laughs> okay. Where is my paper? I have the canvas right here, guys. Give me one second. Okay. Since I can't figure out where the hell all my canvases went right now, and I'm. We just gonna start something brand new. How we do that, guys? Let's start something brand new. Let's work on some, like I said, I go from paper to. Let's pay a pair of sneakers for of painting. Let's just go for it. I think we, we could start these and finish up some ones that we didn't finish up the last time I was doing sneakers. Because I got paint all over the place. I could do that way better. And first, Okay. So a couple of sessions ago, I was doing sneakers. And we was doing these sneakers. I never finished them. So these are the... Because we're gonna to try to finish up today. There's some. Let me put a little more light on. See if we get a little more bright on here. It's a little better, guys. Hold on. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah. Now you can really see the colors in there. This is little snippets that we was working on. I was calling the purple wow. <laughs> so we're gonna finish these up. That's how they look, guys. This is how they actually. It's going to look. Yeah, we're going to finish these up. And then we're going to start a new pair. And now I got a new pair to start. And here's a new pair. So we're going to do these today. So we're going to finish up some old ones, start some new ones. How's that? Okay, so let's do this. Let's get these buckets out the way. When you get these sneakers, these are the buckets that come in. Yeah, I bought uh, the shoe buckets, containers. I thought that was so cool to ship them off in regular plastic containers so your custom sneakers will stay good in the box and the containers. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so these was already done and prepped and everything. As you see, I already painted it. The bottom part is painted. Threw a little gloss on it. It was kind of cool. I wanted it shiny. I wanted the bottom to kind of pop. So I kind of do some glossy. And then the top part, I haven't uh, put the gloss on it yet. I put the, I have this gloss, guys, for um, sneakers that kind of make it a little more, a little more shiny. Just a little bit, not too much. But see, it's still flexible. Still flexible and good. So I want to complete them because I wanted to put something on top. Probably another word or something. I have the wild hair. I want to clean this up and finish it. Yeah, and finish my little, yeah, get this all done. Okay, so with these, this is how we're going to start. With these, we're going to prep these, and then we're going to finish these up, like I said. So, as far as prepping, let me show you what I do. Usually, I will tape all this up. 
Let me show you properly how you, you should tape it up. Okay, guys, so we got tape. So what you do, you take your masking tape. And you basically tape all this up. Since I'm not in the mood of sitting up here taping all this stuff, guys, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't do too much taping when I'm used to sneakers I'm used to. So I'm going to usually tape it up. But for the blows who just got these, just because I want to tape it, like the inside of it and everything. They little sketch sneakers. They, they brand new sneakers. Uh, they, they little sketch sneakers I bought a case of in... Got a case load. I was doing custom sneakers at shows. So I was putting a case of these. I bought a case of sneakers so I could just paint real fast. They're comfortable. I wear them. They're not expensive sneakers. They're little skips, but they really are comfortable, guys. So I like painting them. They're reasonably cheap. I only charge, I think, for these sneakers like 90 bucks because the artwork and everything. But they're really comfortable sneakers. I sold a lot of them. And, uh, and I like painting them. It's fun, you know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do first is I always tape underneath here. That's the first thing I do tape because just in case paint or if you paint this by accident or whatever you want to do, it won't seep into the sneak. So let's start that. Let's start this side. Just tape all up in there in the holes, make sure it seeps out. Okay, then you, what you would do next is tape the outside of here all the way. I'm just going to show you how you have to tape it all the way across. I'm not doing this, this is a process, but if you tape it all the way across, going on around with either painter's tape or masking tape. Usually I will use masking tape because it will hold and adhere to a lot of the rubber at the bottom when you tape it. But make sure it's, I would do a test first because sometimes certain masking tapes will leave the residue of the tape on the back of the sneaker. So I would do a test to make sure, meaning make sure the tape is more clean like this is. So this is a good tape to use. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, we want this out the way. I am going to gesso and put a top coating of white on here because these are black sneakers. Any color that adheres onto the black sneakers might not adhere where you can see the colors when you pop. So we're going to put some paint on here to where, where I'm going to be adding the colors. I'm not painting the whole sneaker. I'm just going to put a couple of little splats on them. Okay, let's throw some splats. Hold on, guys. Let's do this. Okay, so this is what I'm mixing. I'm mixing my basic acrylic. Can't let you see that. Sorry, upside down. My basic acrylic. You know my, you know my go-to stuff. My GAT 900. This is my smaller one. It's my newer box, guys. I still got this big container one. I still got my jumbo one still going. <laughs> this lasts me so long. Oh, this lasts me like a year. Yeah, I think I had this like literally. Oh shit. <laughs> that wasn't smart. Yeah, I had this like that. Let me hold it back. Let me split this all over for you. All right, so let's get to this. All right, so what I'm going to do is make a little mixture here. I want to take a little bit of the cat, find me a nice dry clean place, make sure it's all clean. Okay. Throw a couple of drops of this. And here we go. I kind of measure it. Let's see, 
my measurements is like a guesstimation, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I usually put like two to three drops, depending on how much paint I got in there. Two to three drops. Don't use. You don't really need too much of it. Don't ever oversaturate more than you than your paint. So guys, you don't want to make it watery. You just wanna. You don't want to make the paint watery or anything like that. You just want to loosen it up, put the chemical. Let that mix together. Yeah. You know? Okay, so we're gonna mix that around. Okay, let me get a brush. I don't know why I'm just using a brush right now. You know what? Let's put, I just, let me know what, you know what we're going to put on here, guys? I, um, what size are these? Oh, it's a size seven, so I can't do it. I'm going to put these little, I, I, I've been getting into NFTs, as y'all know. Um, I'm going to come online and really start showing y'all what I do with NFTs. But I want to start drawing some of my NFTs that I purchased and, and somehow I'm doing things called derivatives, meaning uh, copying the same thing, but into your own style, basically. If that makes sense. So I was gonna draw one of the NFTs on here, but well, let's see that, I'm sorry guys. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is our size seven, first we're gonna do this. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna just get these little parts right here where I want to paint. Find the brush. Since I'm not painting the whole sneaker, and I'm just painting basically what I want on here, which is back my little splats. I'm just gonna go in. Or maybe I'll put flowers on here. Yeah, let's do flowers. That's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to do some flowers. Oh, should we do flowers? Or should I put a bird? Got to figure it out now, right? <laughs> you know, we're going to put flowers because... Yeah, we're gonna put a flower on. We're gonna put a bunch of flowers on here. So let's start with this one. We're gonna put my favorite thing, a little daisy. I was going to put some splats, like paint splats, big ones, like the cartoon paint splats, but I did that already on a pair of sneakers on here. So that's why I went towards the little flowers. These flowers is going to be a, maybe a little bit different. <laughs> Let's just start with these. I like that. That's cool. Let's go do some more. So what I'm doing is just filling in the parts, but I'm going to be really coloring in. Probably really have fun with the detailing on these. I'm just making my, oh, I'm sorry guys, y'all can't even see me. So what I'm doing is just gonna put the flowers right up in here. I'm just gonna 
have a bun on how I'm going to do this. I'm not going to put the average flower. I'm going to paint the bottom black again. I'm not really worrying about extra paint going on the sides. And if you're just joining me, welcome everybody. Who's just joining? I'm sitting up here just creating some cute little sneakers I decided to do today. Get into some sneakers, get them out there for these holidays come in. I, these were one of the requests to put some more sneakers back on my snipe. So I am putting back sneakers on my site. So I'm just coloring these in with the gesso, just doing the background. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry here and let's took some more. So we can go like this. I hope everybody's enjoying a beautiful Sunday. This is definitely a beautiful one today. So I am not talking to today. Got a lot on my mind and my throat hurt. <laughs> and my throat hurt. Ah, love that. It's coming out nice. So we're going to put some more flowers. Put some more stems. Put this more. Let's put another one right here. Okay, what we're doing is just adding another little flower over here. I like to do flowers as like stuff that's off hanging off the sneaker. There we go. So we're gonna have this little petal over here come off the sneaker. That's fine. And like this. I was coming in like this. I'm loving it. And y'all seen you guys, I keep forgetting that I'm not in the inside the camera. Let me move my chair up. There we go. Nice. And I'm just doing spontaneous sneakers right now, guys. I'm just showing you how I paint and I do things. I guess I'm just showing you feels like I'm teaching y'all. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this little quiet session right now. All right, so we got the little flower there. I kind of like that. And what I'm doing is trying to figure out where the 
Here we go. We're going to have the thing come out right here. Okay, perfect. So what I'm doing is trying to figure out how I'm going to have this leaf go down in here. Ah, nice. That looks good. Ooh, that's gonna look good. Let's get this up in here. Okay, and then we're gonna get the back. I think we have some more going this way, too. I'm kind of liking these little. Petals of stems of flowers. That came out really cute. All right, let's go on this side. Uh, let's see, let's put one. Uh, let's see, guys, how are we going to do it? Let me just put a little more white up in here and make this more brighter, so. When I paint in it, you can really see the pop, the color pop. There we go. Ah, oh, let's see which way. Let's go. Hmm. Let's put one right here. What I'm gonna do is put one right here. Another little flower. And we're gonna put a half of one right here too. I'm not gonna put a whole flower and put a half like I did down there. Usually, I would tape everything off so I won't get paint on the other division of the half, but I don't feel like doing that. I'm confident with my hand and my steady hand. I can clean up and do what I got to do. But if you're not feeling comfortable with painting freestyle like this, tape up. But if you're comfortable paying, go for it. Well, maybe make this a butterfly right here. That would be a cute little butterfly, huh? Look, guys, that would be a cute little butterfly, huh? But no, I'm not gonna make no butterflies over here. Maybe in the back. Now we're going to keep the flower going. Keep the flower and petal going. Okay, so I'm getting all in there like this. Making sure none of the I'm just designing off the top of my head, no sketches, no, I'm just going off the top of my head how this is going, guys. Maybe draw a Homer Simpson in the, eating the donut. Let's just put the other pile of the petal down. You know what we are? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the petal all the way down on this one. I am gonna head to it. Let's see. See how this go. 
Can you see me? Let's see how this goes. What I'm doing is going to, I was going to have this a stitch right here. If y'all can't see it, there's a stitch right here. So I was going to stop the flower right there and just have the petal come out and then put another flower right there. So it won't go over. But then I was starting to think, so I just do the whole damn petal. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stop right there because that seam right there may make me look kind of nasty trying to go over that seam. And I don't like that. So I'm not going to go over it. I'm just going to clean this up right here. Just thought about it. I'm not going to go over the seam. I'm going to leave that flower there. And I'm going to put another flower here. I'll get that later because I don't know where exactly I want to put that flower at. So I'm going to put it. Can y'all see me enjoy? Okay, guys. All right. All right, so we got a little padding going on here. Okay, we're doing good here. Okay, while this dries, now that it got a nice little, I'm going to start on the other one, try to finish that out. But uh, let's see how this goes. I'm going to see what we can do within an hour. Kind of cool. It came out kind of looking kind of good, guys. It's been kind of good from the top of the head. Oh shit, sugar. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I keep touching it. All right, let's put a little more. We're gonna need a little more just on this stuff right here. And I want to smooth it out so I get some clean lineage on here. So I want to get all that extra. Oh, this came out kind of cool. Nice. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. I might make this little bud right here a little bit bigger. There we go. Just a little bit bigger. Like, okay, hold up, guys. Let's put one more. Hmm, I really feel like I should put that right here. Another petal right there. Yeah, all right. You know what? Hmm. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to put another petal right there or put another flower. I'm going to leave that because I'm really debating on what I want to do there. So I'm going to let that breathe and let that live. But I like that. Okay, so let's start the other one. I 
don't think I want to put the same flower. And I, I don't know if I want to put the same flower. Where, where would you do if you had a nice shoe? Would you paint many? Okay, I'm bugging out right now. <laughs> I'm bugging out right now. I don't know. Let's leave that right there because I'm kind of kind of figure that out. I like that flow though. I like that flow. But I don't want to put the same thing on the sneaker. Maybe in the back here. Well, let's put something different on top. A different. I don't know what's gonna go with this, but something's gonna flow. Oh yeah, your sneakers are not gonna match me, guys. You're gonna have artwork that's gonna like blend all over when you get these. Even if, these, if you purchase these type of sneakers, my sneakers is going to be like a whole little piece of artwork walk when you're walking down the street, guys. So you're not going to have the same thing on this one, the same thing on this one. And it's going to flow, but it's not going to, yeah. I don't like that. I want, to, I want you to walk down the street with some artwork on your feet, on your feet. Okay. Anyway, I'm thinking about that because I'm having fun with that. Let's go back to these. Back to these. Okay. This says wow. And I got a little bit of you can't really see it, but faintly in there, I got a New York City. Let me show you. Can you see that? Oh. Yeah, I got the NYC in there. So just to let y'all know that there's a little bit of New York in this. It's that purple wow. <laughs> okay. So these came out funky. I like that. I wonder how I don't remember how I, I guess I just written out the while. Okay. Looks like I just hand painted some stars in there. Okay. So we got stars on that one. Wow. Okay. Something about them is missing something. That's why I probably left them like this because I don't know what it is. Ah, oh, I know what I wanted to do on these. I have to get a marker for these. So hold up, the black marker for these because I'm going to tag on all these. That's what I was going to do on these. Yeah, I'm officially tagging. But I had to figure out the size on them. Of the marker, so hold on a second, guys. Let me see something here. This marker here. Okay, let me see. Okay, these go really up. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm sorry, guys. I love posh, posh markers. Because you can use them on in a gun. But I need a bigger tip. Oh, shit. Yeah, I need a bigger tip. Let me guess. Just putting a little fun inside the the wow. Just putting a little expression on the wow part. All right, so. I do need a bigger, hold on, I need my bag of markers. Okay. Let's check this out here. See how this, oh, this is silver. Ooh, I already got silver on it. Ooh, that was a, let's see if I tag a little bit of, what are we going to put on here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? 
let's put the, the crown on here. Oh, shoot, guys. I'm sorry. I'm fighting. <laughs> I thought I was writing. The, y'all can see me. Y'all can't even see me. Okay, so what we do, I'm just putting the little, my little crown on there. Ah. I don't know. Time too much is too little, you know what I'm saying? Let's put the row right here. Ah, love it. Sometimes you don't need anything on there. I might see if I have a highlight on here. So I'm just highlighting these with the light color of the silver to bring everything in. Kind of like this. Oh, I like that. That look good. Let's highlight the wild and the silver. See how we did that? Now we're just going to highlight the wow. Nice and clean. We just highlight it nice and clean. Now the wild is popping. Do the same on this side. We're going to highlight the stars on here. Clean it up. Just cleaning that up. Okay, we got the stars in. Nice, 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 baby. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so we got the stars in. And I put this in right here. Kind of go slow because I want to make sure I'm getting new. Let's put a little dab on that. I don't want to make sure I get no uh paint anywhere else. I think I got 
paint right there, guys. Clean that up. Bad. Not bad, not bad. While wow, it's popping, stars is popping, one popping. I got it. Ooh, I'm gonna mix it up. And these are a size six. These are a size six tiles. Sorry. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Size six, right here. All right, so let's go back to these. I'm gonna let these kind of cool off for a while. Kind of like that. Nice how they get for your kid. Okay, that's that purple wow effect right here. Yeah, I'm not, I was gonna add more stuff on top, but they so. If you, when you really look at it, they really dope, so I don't want to mess them up no more. That's enough. Sometimes you just don't need to overdo. That's funky. Okay, let's do something crazy on these. I'll take pictures of these and put them on the website. That's miscreatemerch.com. Miscreatemerch.com is M I S C R E 8. M E R C H dot com. So, but let's have fun with these now. As this is, what time is it? Oh, time check is 7 55, guys. This Sunday, we're going to make it kind of short. I am going to come back on. I think, oh, oh, yeah, I got my plants are outside, guys, and the sun is coming out. So, I got to go get my plants too before they curl up. Um, but I appreciate everyone from coming on. This is going to be a short session today um i will be back on probably in another hour i think oh yeah i'm gonna paint live for y'all i'm gonna come back on in probably another hour i'm gonna set everything up so y'all can see where i need to really start i have to start this stuff now guys so um i really got to finish up these commissions so that's why it's gonna be a short broadcast today but i'm gonna try to come back on if i get the camera set up correctly and y'all can see what i'm painting okay but i appreciate every one of y'all for watching this quick little session of a sneaker session <laughs> but as the sneakers return we will be finished these up yes as the sneakers return you know we gotta finish these up let me kind of knock all these sneakers out so i do want to knock the sneakers i do have out and uh i'm just gonna have fun with it i think i'm gonna do some Raiders sneakers because somebody asked me for some Raiders sneakers. Somebody do some Raiders sneakers. I'm not a Raiders fan, but there was some Raiders sneakers on there. So we'll see how we do with fun with those two. Okay, guys. So come back. Enjoy. Have a beautiful Sunday. And fantastic. And if you see me up here on a spontaneous tip, please come check me out. See what I'm doing. All right. Y'all be good. Y'all be great. Y'all stay happy. But I got to go get my plans for my December for the curl up and on me. <laughs> Vegas heat gets it too hot out there. Y'all have a beautiful day, guys. Y'all stay blessed and happy. Show a little kindness. Talk to y'all soon.
Like a change in October, we are up to our flexible plan of saving money. In fact, the average consumer cellular customer pays less than $25 a month for everything they need. Switch to consumer cellular and start saving today. Call or go online now. By moving to consumer cellular, my cost to pick your cell less than it was. Consumer cellular checks to make sure that the plan fits you who you are. Consumer Cellular provides the same reliable nationwide coverage as bigger carriers for less. It's very reliable. And I can always come Consumer Cellular made it really easy to switch from my old care. I love my phone number and I'm so happy to keep it. Our selection of phones offers everything from flip phones to smartphones, or you can keep your own. It's just a tremendous value. Then that AARP discount doesn't hurt either. AARP members get exclusive discounts. Consumer is in their name, Consumer Cellular. So, of course, they're going to be customer center. I do have a sense that they have my back. Customer service is just excellent. We're proud to have received the GD Power Award for highest customer service 11 times in a row. Consumer Cellular fits me perfectly. Wild horses wouldn't drag me away from Consumer Cellular. Switch today and get $100 on every new line of service. Call 1 800 346 1736. Go to ConsumerCellular.com or visit a Target store today. You gotta look into it. You should be with Consumer Cellular. Take a monkey down, but a friend for a fail. They can help you turn things around. It tells you which cards to pay first and how much to pay on down. Our mentor is a new singing song. Don't worry, we'll be up today. Are your sneezes putting your friends in awkward positions? Stick with Zyrtec. Zyrtec starts working hard at hour one and works twice as hard if you take it again the next day. Zyrtec, muddle no more. I was stopped in traffic and a car hit me from behind. After the accident, I had neck surgery. My medical bills skyrocketed. I needed help, so I called an attorney from Vocate Legal. He started working on my case at no cost to me. The insurance company lowballed me, but through special investigations, my attorney discovered a concealed and much bigger umbrella policy and obtained $2.25 million. Call 1-800-905-5000 for a free consultation. I had to start looking into loans. Within two days of me contacting Op Loans, the money was in my account. Visit Op Loans today to apply for loans from $500 to $4,000 with an easy application and quick decisions. Op Loans looks beyond your traditional credit score to determine your eligibility. And if you're approved, put cash in your account as soon as the next day. With top rated customer service to handle your situation and treat you with respect. What a loan can prove the huge side of it. Op Loans, the loan you need right when you need it. Check those gloves. 
Closes by saying, In your honor, I will drink the blood of the virgin. 
Sign Gary Towns. Who carried it out? Who was the first up there? No. Yeah, I was working on the right. We've got to get a hold of this one now. I'll get off. Is that the vampire letter? Yeah. Okay, so why did you get to question documents? Because I harassed it. Oh. Okay. It turns black. It's blood. The only question now is who's. payments on the stuff you need. Things you'll love. 